Hi, I'm Bill Benton and today I want to talk for a minute about guns. You know, I'm originally from New York City, so sometimes I read the, uh, the New Yorker magazine and uh, this issue, April 23rd, 2012, has an article about guns in America. It's uh, got some interesting stuff. Uh, one of the items in it is that gun ownership has been going down for the last 30 years. In 1980, 30 years ago, uh, one man in two owned a gun in America. Now it's down to one man in three. Women, one in ten, and that has not changed. But that's kind of surprising. The number of people who own guns has gone down a lot. And um, I guess maybe it's connected to uh, people living in cities instead of the country. I don't know. But uh, the idea that America is becoming more and more an armed camp, not true. Uh, of course, violent crime has been going down as well. The uh, number and percent and all that uh, has been going down steadily for 20, 30, 40 years. So that's uh, that's one of the things in this article. It's kind of kind of interesting. Um, of course, the number of guns in America has gone up, and that means that the people who do have guns have more of them. Uh, on the average, they have more than two each. So uh, gun nuts, I guess, uh, really are getting to be uh, even nuttier. Okay, that's that's one thing. Uh, something else that uh, struck my interest, uh, the Second Amendment, you know, uh, says a well-regulated militia being necessary to the security of a free state, the right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. Now that seems to mean that uh, we should have a militia. What's a militia? It's the National Guard. Uh, it does not seem to mean that any... Uh, kook in the world should be able to carry a handgun concealed and shoot anybody he wants to uh, unfettered. But what's interesting about this is that it gives the original wording of that uh, Second Amendment uh, before uh, James Madison modified it a little bit and uh, what it said was even more strongly and more clearly, uh, boy, where did it go? Hmm. Well, it's here somewhere, but it said even more clearly uh, that uh, the, uh, oh, here it is. Um, the U.S. Constitution granted Congress the power to call forth the militia. And the uh, part of that was to provide guns. And here's Madison's original version of the amendment. Quote, The right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. A well-armed and well-regulated militia being the best security of a free country. But no person religiously scrupulous of bearing arms shall be compelled to render military service in person. Well, any high school graduate can see that that does not give the individual person the right to carry a pistol, especially a concealed pistol. It gives the army the right to have arms stored where they can be accessible. Uh, in fact, this was not even a question of debate until around 1970 when the NRA president started publicizing the issue and amazingly enough he was a convicted murderer. You can look it up on Google. Okay, so that's enough, uh, enough for today about gun facts. Of course the American homicide rate and uh, American death rate from guns and American murder rate is two, three, four, five times uh, that of any other civilized country. No other civilized country allows people to have guns for virtually no reason. 
Uh, I remember looking at a study of the effect of concealed carry laws. Everywhere that concealed carry has come into effect, the murder rate and the homicide rate, homicides include accidental deaths, uh, has gone up. Concealed carry does not save lives, it costs lives. Somebody might argue that the lives it costs are uh, lives we uh, should be taking, but to claim that it saves lives is insane. And of course, today's news contained more about that poor woman, the representative from Arizona, whose um, brain injuries from a madman with a handgun uh, show that people carrying concealed weapons cannot protect people from Wild West incidents because when the crazy guy pulled his gun to shoot Miss Giffords, uh, somebody else in the crowd had a gun, but he couldn't figure out who was the good guy or the bad guy, and he almost shot the wrong person. So, enough about this. Uh, some, some facts that might interest you. This is Bill Benton signing off. Goodbye for now, and we'll talk about why these things happen some other time. Bye.